What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, as well as Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, it's been a rough weekend with all of the damn Eagle fans, okay? The Eagle fans have been going crazy. You know, you would think that this was a Philly YouTube channel. As many Eagle fans there are that hang out on here. It's just been crazy. And then I find out there's one that's literally putting a bounty on my head. And so now you've got Micah Parsons, who was at a Philadelphia Eagles, excuse me, a Philadelphia 76ers game wearing a 76ers jersey that has literally started all kinds of stuff. Philly 500 is losing his damn mind. You know, it's so funny how they always talk about how much we hate the Dallas Cowboys. They're trash. Their players are trash. They're nobody that, you know, Hassan Reddick's better than Micah Parsons and stuff. But yet, they want to dream about getting our players. Let's listen into Philly 500 for a few minutes. Only for a few minutes because it'll rot your brain. Oh, Lord. Dallas still stinks. Do my do it, King Ding Bang. Here in Hope, everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. Can you imagine being such a good GM, such an evil genius oh, that teams Lord. are purposely trying to avoid trading you players only to get those teams to wind up trading you players. That's right. Howie Roseman has done it again, and we're going to talk about it. And, of course, Micah Parsons Here we leads go. green. There is no doubt about it in my mind. The Michael jersey was Parsons not an Eagles jersey, Philly. In Philly. It's just the way it is. It's halftime of the Sixers game, and I wanted to bang out this video before I watch it. Bang it out, Philly. And, you know, if you're new to the channel and you like this content, make sure you hit that like button. Maybe, more importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored. The most I fire Howie. Fucking fire. Motherfucker. Stupid motherfucker. What an idiot. And I'm telling you, I was throttled a lot. I don't want Justin Jefferson. He's a ass. He's stupid. I fire his ass. I fire his ass. I mean, how he's got to be stupid. What are you doing? You just let Dallas take him. You. Eagles content creator in all of the internet. That's right. Most censored, most throttled. Mm -hmm. There's just yeah. no question about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. And to I all hope he gets the mic first. Well, thank you. I, I haven't actually watched this, so me. forgive me. Means a lot. Now, you're probably saying, all right, Philly, what are we talking about today? Right now, I've got a lot of Cowboy fans throwing things at the camera, at the TV. They're trying to get my head, but I'm ducking. I'm too fast for them. And, and they're pissed off. I'm the one with the bounty on my head. Truth. They don't want to hear the truth. But Here Michael we go. Parsons loves Philly. He wants to be an eagle. I believe he bleeds green. And you saw I him believe. I believe. Sixers okay. Today, sitting there in his Philly 76ers jersey. So we now have seen him in a Sixers jersey. We have now seen him in a Phillies jersey. The guy responds to eagle fans on Twitter. You had to hold DeAndre Swift tweet right an Eagles fan tweeted out it was just a troll job it was a complete troll job about why DeAndre Swift uh, chose zero he said that DeAndre Swift chose zero because that's how many championships that he's seen the Cowboys win in his <laughs> lifetime or, or that's how many they've had <laughs> complete troll job complete and total troll job he triggered Micah Parsons he triggered a bunch of Cowboy fans Mark Holmes ran <laughs> and made a video about it and it was it was a complete lie yeah, it was a okay. complete lie. You got, you got me, Phil. Michael Parsons, he responds to Eagle fans. 
He'll talk to Eagle fans. He'll go to Phillies games. He'll go to Sixers games. Let's face it. You ain't seen him wearing any green there, bro. He bleeds green. And I have a message to Micah Parsons. My message is this. I like you, Micah. I actually like you. I, I can't help it. Mm -hmm. I like Micah Parsons. You recognize greatness. greatness. They're going to come at you with an extension. Cowboys are going to try to extend you. Don't take it. Don't sign it. <laughs> Don't sign it. Let your contract expire. Let oh. a franchise tag you what, for the two years that they have to. Just do it. Get it through. And then as soon as they can't do mm -hmm. anything, and you hit that free agency market, come on home, baby. <laughs> Come on home to Philly where you really want to be. This guy oh, be cocaine's a hell of a drug. He talks about how great the Eagle players are. He loves and respects them. Oh, he loves the Phillies jerseys. He loves the Sixers jerseys. At you the don't Sixers. see it wearing Eagle stuff, Just bro. face the Cowboys. The best player on your team wants to be on our team. He wants to don the Kelly Green this year. Yeah. That okay, Philly. And, and, and it makes total sense on why a guy like Mark Holmes is literally doing it. Every video about the Eagles. <laughs> Eagles this, Eagles that. Oh, Eagles this. And I have been good. I haven't gone after the Cowboys. Come at me, Philly. At Come at me. I was late. Okay. I was oh, but all your Cowboys people are becoming, man. They've been coming, Philly. I wasn't going to bother them. I wasn't going to say anything. Come after me, bro. I was just going to let them Come do after. their thing because they're three, four, five steps ahead of the Cowboys. At this point, uh -huh. Uh -huh. it ain't even fair. Salute to Howard Roseman. Pinky up. Oh, here we go with the damn pinky. pinky up oh, the shit. It shows you got class. Now, mm, class and eagles. That, that, that's I, an I oxymoron. I want to go buy the Cowboys, but they can't stop. They can't stop <sighs> making videos about the Eagles. They, about the they eagles. can't the live, eagles stop living on my right. channel. We, we are in their heads. We are living rent free. Oh. So, you know what? All right, Mark Holmes, you called down the thunder. We call the thunder. You got it. I'm you got it. You come. Oh, I think you didn't you know have. I think you didn't have enough meats, man. Go, I think go. you didn't have enough meats. Have outclassed the Cowboys. Oh, let's be honest. Oh, Cowboys had some, they had a nice move. Oh, you know, here, yeah, Andrew, here we go. Nice here we go. They make, but they didn't make enough moves. They didn't do enough. And the offseason ain't totally over, bro. Totally outflanked him. Totally you still can't beat Dak. The draft. I mean, the fact and the truth of the matter is, Cowboys sat there, and and they allowed Buffalo to take the player they really wanted. And they sat there, go look at the war room during the draft of the Cowboys. They're like this. They're all pissed, not talking. And then they're like, oh, the camera's on. They see the red light. Oh, the red light. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're excited. They were totally hey, hey, Philly, calmed down. Philly, you one thing for Eagles. you. Fuck them right, birds. Look at Eagles war fly, Eagles, fly. Now nah, we shoot those birds out of the sky. Stupid dumbasses managed to give up a third and 30 to my sexy arm. Pathetic defense and team. No wonder I own those piece of shit frauds every damn year. Don't get me started on the fans. You boo me while I earned a respected award. Losing the Super Bowl was just karma for you fuckheads. I can't wait to drop 100 on your heads next season while being the daddy of the NFC East again. Everybody's up. Everybody's up. Everybody's listening to the phone call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're pumped up because we're doing things, baby. We're doing things. The Eagles have widened the gap between them and the Cowboys. And your best player wants to be in Philly. He wants to be in Eagles. Oh. That's got to annoy the hell out of Dallas. I mean, look, he went to Dallas. He got he got drafted. He went to the sixth floor depository building, your only landmark in Dallas. He saw the X on the street. Now is it. He's ready to go. He wants to come back home. So, Micah, oh, my, my Philly. message to you is this. Philly. No extensions. Philly. Hold out. Or don't hold oh. out, but just play it out and force oh. yourself to be a free agent. Because we know that Dallas ain't going to trade Oh. Us. And when you become a free agent, we got you. Oh, Philly. Philly. Remember something. 23-hour lockdown. I'm the man up in this piece. King Kong ain't got shit on me. See, here's what it is, man. You guys got Cowboys envy. You know, you, you made it to the Super Bowl last year. Congratulations with that one in three record. You know, you just want everything that the Cowboys have. You want those five rings. You want our great players. Well, I'm here to tell you, Philly, you know what? 
I ain't thought about you, bro. I ain't thought about you. I ain't messed with you. Your minions have been living here on my channel. I go through an hour before my live stream even comes through. I got Eagle fans that are commenting left and right. I go to the draft, and here it is. Eagle fans. Mark Holmes, you were that, and they got Philly 500. They, they're literally coming up to me. Everywhere I go, Eagle fans keep following. But I've left you alone, bro. But I want you to know, Philly, it's time for war, bro. It's time for war. I am sick of the shit of listening to you Eagles, you know, sitting there patting yourself on the back and congratulating yourself and the season hasn't even got here. You want the heat? You want the smoke? You want the fire? You got it, Philly. You got it, bro. It's on. Peace.